What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a 06 Impala 39. If you saw all like last two videos, we did struts and inner and outer tie rods on this. And now what we're doing, we're doing a steering intermediate shaft because there's a TSB on these about it making a clunking noise and all this stuff. The part is no longer made by GM. They had a superseding number, but it still is obsolete. So you may not be able to find it at your local GM store if you go to that, go that route, but you do have it aftermarket. I know this is a Dorman, but they do have it. Uh, 425-158. Is it right here? And what we're going to do is up inside of the fender well, let me get a, a flashlight. Up in here, see that little gray piece over top of that little white piece about right in the center of the camera or of your screen, I guess you should say. That will move up this little rubber boot. Push that up. You're probably going to have to use a pry bar. And then there should be an 11 millimeter there. And then on the inside of the car, you're going to have to go in and pry another boot up. And there should be a 15 millimeter in there. And now they do make a tool. How well y'all can see that, but uh, you make a tool you put up inside of the um, steering column. And it's supposed to hold your uh, position. Does does it work? I don't know. Uh, I do not have the tool. So what I'm going to use? Where did I put it? Oh, right here beside me. I'm going to use this to hold the steering wheel. You can probably get like a cheap one off of Amazon. This is just one that we had. It come with like a quick trick uh, alignment thing that we were trying out. But this works great. Uh, it just takes a lot to set up a quick trick alignment thing just for, you know, the amount of vehicles that we would have to do it to. Different story, different day. But now we'll have to get underneath here. I'm going to do the inside first just because. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder for me to show you in here and I want to make sure that I get both of them broke loose before I install this so it doesn't move on me as much and I'm going to put a good bit of pressure on this just so that it holds really well but let me get some tools um, I know some people I've seen a couple videos where some people had to cut the little boot on the inside because it is so tight um, hoping I don't have to do that if you do have to do that you can kind of put a zip tie around it and then put some tape around it too if you want to I'm hoping I don't have to cut it but I've seen where a lot of people had to do that so let's see how mine goes I got the nut out on it and I know it's kind of blurry but that's it right there and I did have to end up cutting mine if I can get y'all up in here without moving y'all around too much. And I turned the steering wheel to where the nut was facing down so I could get it out. And now I'm going to rotate the steering wheel back, but try to get it. We well, can kind of see up in there. And the nut is right up against this little green piece. You can kind of see the end of the bolt right there. I'm going to put you right in the center. But now I got to rotate the steering wheel back. Should be back straight. Yep, we got it back straight. Let me set up this real quick and I'll show y'all how it looks once it's completely set up. So that is it in place. This right here it just slides through there and then on the front it's got like this little piece that holds it. Then it's got a little like screw lock right there. I'll lock it down and I just pushed it on there pretty tight just so it kind of holds it. You can see it holds fairly decent. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it. Not a lot but a little bit. And now we can go on 
bottom underneath the car and do the same thing we'll have to pry up on the little boot piece that way we can get our 11 millimeter in there and try to take it out but first I do have to pull the um, bolt out up here that way I can get it loose and get it out of there without hopefully dropping the bolt so let me try to do that real quick you can see right there I pried up on that with a little pry bar and it's up pretty good bit and now I can get my 11 millimeter in there pretty easy because it faces outward which I am extremely glad that they did it that way but now I can get my 11 millimeter in there and zip her out I just have to get a few extensions maybe a universal we'll see or swivel whatever you want to call those Let's see if I can get that in there. Uh, I'm going to set y'all up on a tripod and try to show y'all what I'm doing. Get y'all set up. I'm going to see if I can get in there. I do grab my flashlight first. Though. Okay. Right on it without any reversals. And they're not super tight, but they do have some... Alright, yeah, so it's starting to come out now. It'll probably get like loose and then tight, loose and then tight, because it is a pinch bolt. And I think the one on the top is the little, it's the male end is up on the steering column end, and then the female end is on the rack and pinion. Maybe just getting caught up on the boot a little bit. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just getting caught on that boot a little bit. And this right here is your bolt. Uh, let's see if it'll focus on it. But they do put a little bit of thread locker on there, but clean it up, put a little bit of blue on there, put a little red, and I'm definitely not putting red on there. So, now that that is off of there, get my pry bar back up in there, and we'll just take her right off of there. I know my big head's probably in y'all's way a little bit. So that I can pry it off the other end and then I can bring it out from the inside of the car. Here is the old one and it's got a lot of movement in this end of it and it come out really easy. This end's pretty tight but that one's and I can feel some back and forth play on it too like whenever I'm going up and down and side to side yeah I don't know if y'all can hear that but it does have a lot of play in it this is the old part number uh, 10386037 and then I have to find the number. See, the new design has flaps on the side, so it doesn't have as much play in the splines, and then you can see how tight that one is. So, I kind of like the flat spots better than I do the non-flat spots. No, I didn't show y'all it pulling out um, from the inside. All I did was just, seriously, I just 
pushed it down and it slid right out no trouble or nothing I mean it come out just like you was pulling out if the steering column was off the car just slide right off I mean it was that easy no special maneuvers or anything like that I mean it's just simple but now I'm going to stick this back in here so that I can start tightening it all back to up and getting it back together tongue tied today so I got it just kind of setting in there I don't have it in either end but it can only go in one way because there's a notch cut out on the rack and pinion for the bolt to go through so what we're going to do is we're going to put the rack and pinion side in first because it does slide in and out and after we do that we can put the bolt in get it kind of started then we can go back inside the car and then we can put it up inside of the steering column piece but I'm going to kind of do this right here it's a little tight but you can probably get your hand up inside of here I do need a flashlight in my pocket I still gotta look at the torque specs anyway. Now I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna lower it down, go inside, and I'm going to position it up inside of the steering column so I can put the bolt and nuts on that. We got the inside in and tight, and they torque 235. Here's the torque wrench. I'm gonna tighten this one up all the way. And I need my flashlight again. It go a little higher just because I have freaking three feet of extension on this thing. So I went to 40 instead of 35. But you saw me torque it right there. It should be good to go now. So all we have to do is put the tire back on. Well, first I need to put this rubber boot back down on the top of it. purpose of this boot is to keep dirt and debris out of the steering shaft because it does have grease in there and some people said they have greased these and like taking them out and re-greased them but my thing is even on the TSB it says do not re-grease it says replace and I mean if you're going to go through all the trouble of re-greasing that uh, slide and all that you may as well spend the fifty dollars and just replace the uh, whole shaft itself because I think that was like fifty or sixty dollars so, but if you want to try the grease thing you're more than welcome to it's your car but I do recommend doing the shaft itself but like I said this is putting one of these on it's pretty straightforward um, but uh, you're going to have to get into some, some really tight spaces if you got any questions comments concerns let me know uh, getting Thing you need to know about it um, hit me up I can send you to work instructions uh, not even just for this car for anything that I got if y'all need work instructions for something torque specs uh, how to's you know whatever even if you got ideas on videos let me know comment down below what you got uh, I'll try to do one of those in the future soon if I have one come up but like I said thank you for all my support and everything I do have the video up for the giveaway I'll put that in the bottom and then just remember, talk to stay. Y'all have a great day.